Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today I'm doing a collaboration video with my good friend, Stephanie Farrell Focus. So stay tuned. I just love watching Stephanie's channel. She makes you feel like she's talking just to you, like you're her, her sewing buddy. And she just has a lot of great ideas on her channel where she's made all these beautiful dresses and tops and bags. She made this cute, uh, very cute um, backpack purse. You'll have to check that out. I will be putting a link to her channel in my description box. So make sure you check out her channel. Oh, and she also does Trailer Tuesdays where she talks about her um, trailer that she redecorated and it is and remodeled it. It is adorable. You should see it. It is so pretty. I love all the colors she used. And she um, takes you on some of her little camping trips and you get to see where, where she goes and see her adorable camper. So just check that out. I just love her. This collaboration happened was I was talking to my friend Andra with Andra Makes. She has a YouTube channel here called Andra Makes. And I was asking her how I could turn my um, pin tuck dress into a PDF pattern. And she said I should probably contact um, Stephanie Farrell Focus because she had turned a pattern into a PDF digital pattern. So I'm like, I know her. I already subscribed to her channel because I just I love her channel and I just love her sewing room. It's it's got that beautiful aqua blue walls and all the pretty pastel colors. I'm like, that's so me. I love all the same colors she does. And so I I DM'd Stephanie and asked her about it, and she was able to hooked me up with um, somebody with Fiverr and I was able to get my pin tuck dress pattern digitized. So I'm still working on that. And so we became fast friends and just got to talking and, and FaceTiming each other and decided we should do a collab. So we looked at some patterns and Stephanie kind of got me out of my comfort zone and we are doing Butterick 5456. And I love the dress. It's so pretty, especially this fabric right here. It was so beautiful. I just love that. But I don't usually wear a dress with an elastic waist. I like more the loose flowy type dresses. So I'm like, it's so cute. I'm going to try it. So, but I'm glad she she um, suggested this pattern because I love it. It came out so cute. But I couldn't find any fabric like this. But I um, But what I did find, I really liked. Okay, I made view A, but I did not do the contrasting bodice. I just did all one fabric, and I did not put on the hem, that extra hem. I just um, made the dress a little bit longer at the bottom. And I'll read you what it says. It says it's a very easy pattern. It's a loose-fitting pullover dress, has a lined bodice with back ties and elastic casing. And it also has like a little keyhole in the back. There's the pattern and the line drawings. And I used a knit, a knit fabric and I'm wearing it right now. I'll get up and show you a full view in a minute. And it wasn't, it wasn't that hard to make. It was the, the bodice is lined and then the skirt, you just gather it and then sew it to, to the, uh, the bodice, but I have a few little tips and tricks that I want to tell you about what I did and what I would do differently. Okay, so some of the tips I would give you is when I cut out my fabric, that because I used a knit fabric, I used a, a rotary cutter and that made it it's just smooth. I could just flow around the curves and and it just left a nice smooth edge than, than cutting with scissors for me. Some of you might be easier with scissors, but I found the rotary cutter to be so much easier and smoother to cut this out. And um, it has a keyhole in the back, in the back bodice part. And that keyhole looked way too big for me. So I just used a little, a little small bowl about that big and, and used that to cut my keyhole so it wouldn't be as big as the pattern called for. And, and the, they call for the bodice to be lined, but I used the burrito method instead of the method they used in the instruction because the burrito method is so much easier. And if you don't know how to do the burrito method, I have a video on my channel. And also I learned it from, from Jen at Today in Jen Sewing Room and I will link her video. It's very, she has a very good video on explaining how to do the burrito method. And I love it. It's made making dresses so much easier for me. 
I wouldn't do it any other way now. And so, um, so I did the burrito method with that. And another thing I would do differently is I used the same fabric for the lining as the outside of the dress. So when it came time to do the under stitching, it was just so hard to know for sure that I was on the lining or the outside of the dress. I had to keep flipping and cause once you get it under the sewing machine, it's kind of hard. Like, do I have it right? Do I have the lining or, and you don't want to be under stitching the wrong side. So next time I would definitely like do a black or a white if I was doing this type of fabric, but definitely a different fabric for the lining to just to save time and make sure that you're under stitching the right part. I cut my bodice a size 18 and I cut the skirt a size 22. And next time I would cut the bodice a 16 instead of an 18 because it was too big. The armholes were way too big and it showed my bra through the armholes. And um, so I had to end up cutting off an inch on both sides to make it smaller to fit me right here. So I cut an inch off both sides. So next time I would definitely do a size 16 in the bodice and the 22 for the skirt was perfect. And, and then basically after that, you just, um, I just sewed two basting stitches on the skirt and then pulled it to do the gathering. And, and then I just, and then after I gathered it correctly, then I did, um, I sewed um, a regular seam to hold it in place. And then I sewed it to the bodice, the skirt to the bodice. But I did not do, it called for a, a casing to put elastic in. And I hate elastic. I hate anything tight. On me so I so I opted not to put the um, elastic casing in so it's more of a looser fitting here but it still looks like like there is a waist there because of the gathering I don't know if you can see it with this pattern it is busy but um, but it still has that gathered effect and that waistline here but it's not like skin tight on me because I don't like anything tight on me so but I love it it came out really cute and then after I had the dress sewn together, um, I tried it on and um, you could still see my bra through the armholes. And I was like, oh man. So when my husband got home, I tried it on again and showed him the dress. And he's like, I can see your bra through the keyhole in the back of the dress. I'm like, oh great. Now I got to fix that and the armholes. And he goes, here, let me retie it. So he retied um, the ties in the back. And he fixed all my problems because it was just, I didn't have it tied tight enough because once he tied it, the, you couldn't see my bra through the armholes or the keyhole. So I was like, oh, he saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> I was so relieved. So now my dress is done. So now I'll stand up and show you a full view of my dress. Okay, here's the dress. And here's the keyhole. I just love it. It's so comfy. So pretty. I can't wait to make it out of some different fabrics. And here it is styled with my cardigan. I love cardigans. Thank you, Stephanie. I had so much fun doing this collaboration with you. I can't wait to see your video. Don't forget to check her video out. The link to her video will be in my description box. If you like this video, please check out this video right here. I think you'll really like it. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a so blessed day. Bye for now.